be there. All right, let's move on to a Doctor Strange 2. Uh-oh, look out. Doctor Strange 2 is coming. There is uh, a reported runtime right now, guys, of two hours and 28 minutes, making it 30 minutes shorter than the Batman movie, which is on its way into release. <laughs> so short. But if you look, actually, here is Doctor Strange as Batman. Can't be, can't be Batman. <laughs> Batman Beyond. Uh, um, this movie, I, I just I think this good movie is going to make a ton of money. It's exciting. Uh, there's going to be cameos after cameo after cameo. Endless onslaught. Ryan Reynolds is saying he is not in it. Hmm. Um, but you know, Taron Edgerton is not saying he wants to play Wolverine. So I'm guessing that either Wolverine he said he wants to. He, he wants to. So either he's not playing Wolverine in this or he or he is and he's just telling people early. Uh, Ryan Reynolds just keeps denying that this is it, but it's two hours and 28 minutes, Steve. How do you feel about that runtime? You taking your kids? Yeah, yeah. I mean, they handled uh, Spider-Man uh, No Way Home just fine. And uh, for me, like that one, how how long was that? Two two hours and 40, was it? Yeah, it was longer than I thought. We talked about this a few yeah. weeks ago. Yeah, it was like 240, yeah. yeah. And it, to me, it didn't feel like it. You know? For real. Um, so... I'm not. I'm not overly. I'm not too worried about the the run times anymore. Uh, if it's two hours and thirty minutes, and so be it. Um, my biggest test is that if I bring my wife, because uh, anytime she ever saw an X Men movie, she always fell asleep during an X Men movie. So mm-hmm. if she can stay awake for Doctor Strange, then I it's all good. Scotty, how about you? Dude, this you're gonna blink, and this movie's gonna be over. I feel like <laughs> that's way too short. It's... I don't know, man. <laughs> I'm, I'm worried with with the runtime, but a lot of people might. You know, a lot of the characters that they're expecting aren't going to get a significant amount of sc- screen time. And I think a lot of people are building themselves up to expect that. And they might be a little disappointed. Oh, yeah, dude. I am terrified. I'm terrified of all of these like specific characters that have already been leaked. And it it just being something that Marvel put out there to subvert sure. subvert the expectations, man. Yeah. It is going to gut fans. It happened recently with the Kira. Like, I don't know if you guys were onto the Kira rumors with Book of Boba Fett, <laughs> but a lot of people were like, yeah, what? No, they won't. And then they didn't. And now it's like, man, that show sucked. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, yeah, like you got to with a sh- with a with a movie like this and all of the implications, like. I'm not worried about spoilers because it's all out of context. It could get, literally go any way. But the runtime worries me a little bit. Yeah, it seems kind of short for what it is, especially with Spider-Man being 240 and it just having two other mm-hmm. Spider-Man in it and a couple of villains. Like, this looks like it's going to be insane. I, oh, I, I got to add to this, though, guys, is, is uh, Elizabeth Olsen reportedly signed a seven uh, pick seven year seven picture deal with the MCU now. She's going to be along. She's going to be along for a lot longer. Uh, and so part of the rumors is that she's going to be having her own uh, her own solo movie after this, the Scarlet Witch solo movie. So I don't know how this ends for her. You know, we heard that she's the villain of this, how it goes, where they're going from this. But I think that's a character that after WandaVision, and she's very powerful, even more powerful than we, we knew her before. And I think she's going to reverse her spell on mutants. I think that rumor is that theory, I guess, is yep. very likely to happen that that she's going to have a big big role going forward and again again you brought this up last week scotty if if magneto's in this there's your connection right there with them and i think you know it makes sense for her to be along for a long time so i apologize if this is actually what they do and you had to hear it from me first but the movie could literally be titled the scarlet witch house of m this one her solo movie Oh, oh yes. yes. If if they're going to bring all the mutants back and reverse it, it can just literally be the Scarlet Witch, House of M, and it'll be her living with all her mutant family. And then eventually she'll realize, like, okay, I did this. Now I have like that's when we'll get the no more mutants thing. But I don't know. It's so weird that they're gonna like if they introduce mutants that way and she creates them, I think that's a big rumor. It's gonna downplay the no more mutants line is it not no i think the no more mutants line steve has already occurred i oh. think she did that um and I, yeah and she's and in wandavision when she thinks back she's not thinking back truly from a certain point of view mm, i think she's I already like that. done that and i think maybe those events like something has already caused her to say that so that's why there's no more mutants going around now and she's going to reverse that going forward that's what i'm thinking steve where do you see that happening? Like to me, we've seen a very clear timeline of 
where she has her powers, discovered how powerful she is, and we see the progression from point A to point B. I don't know. I don't. I don't see Wanda in um, Age of Ultron being able to do no more mutants or you know, anything, anything to that scale. Of I think before, it's before that. Uh, eh. So because she's omnipresent, uh, like it would be like the Scarlet Witch that's inside the Mind Stone, essentially, because she's yeah. you know time doesn't affect this character. So yeah, it would be her. It would be us realizing that the Scarlet Witch isn't Wanda Maximoff. It's the Scarlet Witch, right? Okay. I, if I that mean, makes sense. <laughs> and I, I think the, the one thing too is in t- I don't think they'll worry too much about the continuity of it all. They're like, no, that the, the infinity stuff is over with. This is how we're doing mm-hmm. it now. And they're going to move on. They don't need to worry about it because it doesn't have to necessarily make sense because they retcon things all the time in these movies, right? They, they just do what they want to do. Do they? They kind of do. One division retcon of except Quicksilver. Well, um, but that apparently, and then I, I saw this where they said if, if, the 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 no more mutants has already occurred then the ralph boner crap actually works a lot better because that actually is a mutant with those powers he just doesn't know he's a mutant with those powers or something i don't know what the hell is going on that doesn't make sense either ralph boner <laughs> sucked that was the worst yeah that that was uh i don't like it when you when you lie to the audience that's what i'll say i don't like the I don't like when you flat out lie for the sake of teasing people along. You can lie, but you can't yep. lie like that. That was a, yeah. a misstep. That was not She-Hulk. It was that was the Marvel's first big misstep. I thought <laughs> Mephisto lives. <laughs> Hopefully, what? and I I still think that uh, I hear what you're saying. I hear what you're saying on that, but I think that uh, fans also take it a little personal. On yes. some of this stuff, and that if you look at the bigger part of the story, it kind of still makes sense. Um, because Agatha really explains it to us all, she does it quickly, but she explains that the corpse is on another continent and that she used the multiverse and the fact that, like, this recognizable, like, this person recognizes themselves as Pietro. And that's all that mattered to her in that moment was that like, oh, geez, this guy's my brother. He's just from a different whatever. Mm. She convinced herself of that. So this is this is going a little off topic here. But do you, do you think that they're going to reveal that in somewhere within the multiverse that you know, Wanda's kids were real? You know, um, and, and that's why she's looking for them, trying to find them, because what I got out of uh out of the show, you know, the kids were, uh, were, were a figment of her imagination, something she created, um, mm-hmm. you know, like the, the fantasy kids that you know, she, she wanted, but mm-hmm. again, they, they were never real. So were they real in another universe? And that's why she's trying to find them or, you know, I'm, I'm just not sure what they're, what they're trying to accomplish there with, with, with the, the, the quest for the kids. I think now, and they're, they're setting it up for comic book stuff, but it's cool. They're telling their own stories to start and then they're bringing in the comic accuracy. And I think what they're going to do is, and you know, this is spoilers for people who haven't read the comics, but the children in the comics are eventually revealed to be aspects of Mephisto's soul. Mm -hmm. Not saying that these ones she has created are, but I think the ones she hears at the end of the show call out to her are. So I think now demons have impersonated her children. That's what's making her go on this quest. They're using her quest to break down the multiverse and, and escape trying to manipulate her. Yeah. So hopefully that's revealed, but like the, the Mephisto watch is still on. (laughs) (laughs) It's like, you know the devil character he's one of the most controversial things you can put into movies because of other countries and religions obviously yeah it'll be very interesting to see if he is portrayed as a devil because that's literally who he is but a lot of a lot of big things happening in this movie there's like four different doctor stranges that he's going to play all of them in the same film it's Mm -hmm. it's going to be nuts is that I, there's so much like this? It's it's and two hours and twenty eight minutes of craziness, mm-hmm. just sheer like insanity. Do you guys know? Have I think they released some plot details, but does anyone know what the actual plot is? Yeah, uh, I mean, I think I have a pretty good handle on what it is. 
Uh, Wanda is obviously searching for her children. She is, I believe, able to mentally go into these other dimensions and possess, you know, maybe that Shuma Gorath demon or whatever it is, but she can't physically move through the dimensions. So that's why she is chasing after or using the demons to chase after American America Chavez, because she is able to punch holes through dimensions. She's going to use her to go find her kids. That's ultimately, I think, her mission and what really just keeps continuing to set off the multiverse of madness. I think it's hinted at that her whole orchard of white flowers and Vundagar Mountain, like I think that could actually be the mountain where the Darkhold was made. And she just has this illusion again, just like Westview. And when Doctor Strange shows up there, I'm hoping all this trailer stuff's like the first 15 minutes of the movie, dude. Yeah. I think it could be just right off the bat. So so how do you think that would tie into you know what, what the trailers are really uh pushing that you know Doctor Strange lost control of a spell, he's lost control of things. How does that tie into Wanda's uh search? Yeah, that's the that is the biggest question because she I think will ultimately be a bigger threat. And maybe she's what's caught obviously I think she's what's causing the multiverse to break down ultimately. So the spell that they're referring to, do you think it's the one from Sp from Spider-Man or is it something completely different? I think it's something we don't know about yet. The whole uh you tampered with the fabric of time and that kind of stuff, the the warnings from Wong. I don't think that's the Spider-Man stuff. I even think it could be like he was never meant to look through time at all the hundred and one million four hundred thousand. Like, I don't think he was ever supposed to see that stuff. Mm. Like, he wasn't supposed to know that outcome. They could go all the way back to that. Yeah. I don't know. There's so much at, at play. Here. <laughs> How do you yeah. think, though, that this is going to... Well, this right this here is Defender in? Strange. Like, this is the Supreme yeah. Defender Strange from the but comics. But how, how does the Multiverse of Madness play into the greater MCU? Uh, it brings mutants in. Secret Wars. It's really, I think, just meant to introduce mutants and give Wanda the her omnipresence as, like, an Omega-level threat. Maybe. Okay. I don't know. I'm speculating so much right now. <laughs> well, yeah, that's all you can do is speculate, yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> that's what... Do you see vision in this? White no. vision? I mean, yeah. man, it'd be a bomb to drop on her. I don't know. I do. You, James, do you even think they're going to reveal who that hologram is that they added into the end of the show if he is a hologram? <laughs> you think that's Doctor Strange just showing up right at the beginning? It's got to be. A lot of people thought it could have been White Vision. Hmm. I'm curious how much of WandaVision is going to tie in, aside from what we already see in the trailers of. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not here to talk about Westview. Like that might be that, and the kids might be the only thing that we we get out of it. I'm right. like two hours and twenty eight minutes. If this is about Wanda finding her kids, it's called Doctor Strange, right? It's not the Wanda the Wanda movie. Mm -hmm. So I, you know, there's something else going on, and yeah, bringing in mutants. It, I hope that. There's more to it than just that, though. You know, I hope that they there's more to this movie than just this is how they bring mutants into the. And I know that might that might be an unpopular opinion. I don't know, but I mm -hmm. I'm looking for a little bit more than just an excuse to bring in everyone's favorite uh, Wolverine and Prof X and all that stuff. I'm gonna have a hard time just getting over you know whether this connects to Loki or not because in my head for the you know, as soon as I saw that Loki finale I'm thinking oh that ties into Doctor Strange totally and you know all the rumors about what Spider Man No Way Home was gonna be I thought that was gonna tie in and not so much right so now I don't know what to expect. Yeah, what is tying all of these shows together? What is the threshold in Loki? What ha what spell in Spider Man really had the most effect? What one thing Doctor Strange did had the most detrimental effect on the fabric of time. I, th I hope this sh this movie answers a lot of that stuff. And it could just be as something as simple as uh, a story that, you know, sets up Strange as a hero, introducing all the major threats. Kang, like the whole show us the whole multiverse now. Mm -hmm. It's a lot yeah. for 
two hours, two and a half hours. It's a lot for two hours, but I mean, the way the MCU works is this is one movie, and they're going to be doing this over a course of time, right? And who knows when the multiverse comes to a conclusion? This might just open it up, and uh, you know, we keep going from there. We'll find out soon. Let's- 